Park Geun-hye's impeachment in the National Assembly in December marked the suspension of her presidency. Now comes its bitter end. She didn't go without a fight. After weeks of apologies for the scandal, impeachment spurred a different tactic, repeated denial of any wrongdoing. Her supporters took to the streets in a campaign to pressure the constitutional court. President Park hasn't done anything wrong, and even the prosecution and the police haven't proved anything. The allegations against her were fabricated by the media to make it look like she's guilty. Park and hees public life began in tragedy. An assassin aiming for her father, strongman leader Park Chung-hee, instead killed her mother. A private young woman found herself serving as de facto first lady, at the same time developing a close relationship with a man named Choi Tae-min, a charismatic cult leader who told Park he could communicate with her late mother. Park's friendship with Choi's daughter, Sun Sil, would last four decades and ultimately cause her downfall. Park Geun-hye was elected president on a ticket of economic reform, but campaign pledges went unfulfilled. Her presidency was scarred by South Korea's deadliest civilian disaster, the sinking of the Sewol Ferry in 2014, with the loss of more than 300 mostly teenage lives. Opponents speculated about where she'd been for seven unaccounted for hours on the day of the sinking, whether she'd been fully in control. That became a more general question when, last October, Park was found to have passed sensitive documents to her old friend Choi Sun Sil. The scandal soon bloomed in scope to include accusations that Choi had used presidential connections to extort vast sums from South Korea's richest business leaders, and that she was dictating government policy and appointments without any official role. People are deeply concerned that, hey, I thought I was voting for Park geun who's daughter of a well-known leader, Park jong hee who's still very controversial in Korean history. But in fact, it was Choi Soon-sil who was in control the whole time. And it's that deep sense of betrayal, I think, that explains how this scandal distinguishes itself. The tide of popular feeling was, in the end, inescapable, sweeping Park geun hee out of office despite continued questions about what could actually be proved against her. Stripped now of her presidential immunity, those questions could well be answered in a criminal trial.